My name is Tegan Syme. I'm an operations officer on the research vessel Investigator. I feel like I've never really followed the same path as everybody else. You know, I finished year 12. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I started volunteering at a sailing school and just learning how to sail, it was something completely different to me. I actually applied to do a voyage on the Young Endeavour and that was my first taste of tall ship sailing and it was just so much fun. I just loved it. The adrenaline of working on a tall ship, it's the excitement, it's also the beauty, you know, being out in the middle of the ocean on a quiet, creaky ship, you know, that was designed hundreds of years ago. There's just a certain romance to it too, I guess. When I was 23, I decided to go to university, but to get there, I had to do year 12 again because I hadn't done very well the first time around. So I got my year 12 certificate again, and that allowed me to apply to do marine biology at UNSW. During my marine biology degree, I had great opportunity to go out on the Southern Surveyor, which was CSIRO's last research vessel, and that's where I got all of the data for my honours project. I've always been drawn to roles that have been in more extreme environments, been more challenging. Sometimes it's not that comfortable, it's not that glamorous, but it's, there's adventure, there's excitement. My role on board the investigator ties in a lot of my skills that I've developed over the years. Yeah. The job of an operations officer is to be the key liaison between the crew of the ship and the science team and we bring them all together to work to achieve all the scientific objectives during the voyage. There is no typical day at sea, every day is a little bit different, but I'll tend to start my day by making my way to the bridge and having a chat with the officer of the watch just to see what activities we've completed overnight. Even though I'm in a support role now, I still get to participate in all of the work that we do at sea and I'm still part of all the amazing discoveries. You know, we get some great people on board, up to, you know, 30, 35 scientists and it's always incredible to be out there when these discoveries are being made. So that I've never seen before in my life and that's got to be hours of fun there. I had an amazing experience for my birthday this year. I was down near the ice edge in the Antarctic. I woke up at about 3 a.m. and it was pitch black outside but I just peeked through my curtains and I could see the aurora lighting up the sky and I raced up to the bridge and there were a couple of people up there that were taking photos and taking footage and they all started singing happy birthday to me under the aurora and it was a really special experience. When you're out in the middle of the ocean, you're completely self-sufficient, you know, you're pretty remote, but that's when it becomes really important that you work as a team, and that's where a lot of the satisfaction comes from. So it's a trials and testing voyage, we're going to be doing some acoustic calibrations. As a voyage manager, I think I play a pretty key role in the mood that, of, the, of the people on board the ship. I guess I'm a bit of an amateur counsellor, and I try to just help people get through the tougher times when we're out there. I think that if I'd gone straight to uni, I probably wouldn't have done so well. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I don't think being a late bloomer is necessarily a bad thing. I think I've maybe just taken my time to really figure out what it is that I wanted to do. And, and I'm there now. I've got a great job, great career, and yeah, I love it. <laughs>